Hi there, my name is John Owens and I'm the product owner for the API Portal team. Um, today I want to do a quick demonstration on the public API mode in API Portal and how to use it. So the use case I'm going to demonstrate in this video is to how you expose an API publicly that does not require any sign in or authentication from a user to view that API on the portal. So there's a couple of steps involved to set up the connectivity between API portal and manager, and then how you expose APIs. So the first step is around in API manager, you need to create an organization which is designated for public APIs. Uh, you need to create a user in that organization and then you need to switch over to the API portal side and open up the Joomla admin interface or GAI for short. Um, this is where you can configure public API mode to be enabled. And you also need to give it the credentials of a user in that org that you designated for public APIs. At this point, you will have if you've gone through these three steps, you should have the required connectivity between manager and API portal. And lastly, we will see how you grant access to some APIs uh, in manager that you want publicly viewable on the portal. Okay, so let's switch over then to API portal and API manager to actually carry out these steps. So I've got my instance of uh, manager up and running here. So let me just log in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an organization. And I'm going to call it um, John Public Org. This is the org that I'm going to designate for all my public APIs. So I don't need any of the rest of the fields. John public org is my public org. Okay, that's step one. Um, now I need to add a user into that org. So I have no users yet. So we'll create a, a new guy, John public user. And we'll just use the same for the login name. We'll use john at email.com. And we will pop this user into the John public org and we'll give him the application developer role, the user role. Okay, so let me just make sure that John public user, let me create his. Make sure I get his password right. Okay. So at this point we have our org and we have our user. So this is actually all we need right now to be able to configure a connection from portal to, um, to manager. So let's go ahead and do that. So I want to open up the Joomla admin interface. So this is on the standard uh, slash administrator slash index of any portal instance. I go over here to component API portal public API. So public API is, is off by default. So we want to turn it on. Um, and once you turn it on, you need to give it some credentials. So this is the um, account details or user details of a user in the org that we just created. So we created John public user and we gave it this password and we save. Do, 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 do. Let me try that again. Okay, so let me just check if I can log in with this guy. Into manager. So, John. 
public user. And okay. Okay, I'm logged in here. Okay, so we must have run into some password uh, on first access rule. So let me go over here and see if I can configure this connection again. Okay, right, so cool. So at this point, I'm down to uh, create my organization, John Public Org. I've created my user, John Public User, and I've configured the JAI public mode on and I've given it the credentials of John Public User. So, now let's have a look at, let's just go back into Manager. So I've got no APIs associated with this user or org in API Manager. Uh, John Public Org. So I've got no APIs here. Um, so when Portal comes along, it's got public mode on, right? So it's expecting some uh, publicly viewable ones. So if you haven't, if you, you probably didn't notice, but a new tab called APIs is just shown up here. And this is where you would see those APIs that you've configured for that organization. Okay, but as none is there, as there has been none associated with the org, we see this. So let's go back and grant access to uh, some APIs. So in my front end, I have virtualized API 1, 2, and 3. They're just virtualized uh, versions of uh, some of the pet store backends. It doesn't really matter. So for API 1, we want to expose that publicly. Okay. So I'm just going to unpublish it for a sec to show you uh, this step. So I want to expose API 1 to the public org. I've decided this is the, the only API that I want to expose to the outside world, but no login to the portal. Um, so to be able to, this is in the API development organization, which is different to our public org. So we need to grant access to that, right? But in order to share this API with my public org, I need to publish it. So I publish it, it changes to published. I select it again and I can grant access. And from here, I should be able to pick my John public org. Great. So let's just go in to the org. Um, let's have a little look and make sure that my API one, my API one is now configured as uh, accessible by this organization. So we don't need to do anything else in the Joomla interface. That connection connectivity is configured. So all we should have to do is refresh this and we should see API 1. So here's API 1. I'm not logged in. And details of API 1 should be available. Voila. Brilliant. And that's how you configure the connection between manager and portal and how you expose an API publicly in API portal. Thanks for your time and see you again.